Mr. Hariharan, thank you so much for being here today. Pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, I want to start off by asking you, what this award, this win means to you and your organization? If you could share a few words on that. Uh, yeah, so I'm exceptionally happy to have won this award. Uh, and I think uh, I come from a very strong uh, branding background. I've spent a significant uh, part of my career in advertising agencies. And I made the move into a marketing role. One of the important things I had to learn was how to build a brand uh, with extremely frugal uh, budgets. Uh, and a brand building exercise with frugal budgets is a challenge, but it was an exciting one at that. So, I mean, I'm excited to have won this for putting that thought in place for our brand. Okay, great. Um, speaking of, uh, you know, you mentioned that you have, you had, you've had a uh, long journey in branding, advertising. Uh, what were the key milestones that, as per you, that uh, played a big role along that journey? So I think uh, there are three big milestones that I can say. I started my career in account management, uh, which essentially is what a lot of people start their career in. You either start in account management, planning, or creative. I started my career in account management. Uh, and for a brief while, after my stint in, uh, in advertising agencies for a brief while, I actually went on an entrepreneurial journey. So that was my second milestone. The first milestone was actually getting the foundation of of the advertising business and the marketing business from a services perspective and account management. Subsequently, transitioning into entrepreneurship, where I learned how to build things ground up. I had to do everything on my own. And the third part was actually a play in planning. So I moved into a planning role as well strategically. So these were the three big milestones that kind of shaped the way I think and operate that kind of, you know, got me here. All right, all right. You know, you mentioned uh, in the conversation we had before this that, uh, you know, Axio has zero acquisition cost. So that being said, how does your marketing spend look like? If you could, you know, share something on that. So, uh, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, I said that we don't really have acquisition costs is because we embed ourselves as a checkout finance option in large platforms. So uh, the good part about my job is actually I'm somebody who typical marketing roles are spend more money and gain more traction. On the contrary, I approach it from a slightly different perspective. How can we grow organically? So uh, from a spend perspective, I think we operate in a very sustainable way and what I call a sustainable growth because growth at all costs is what a lot of brands do today. But I think a significant chunk of our spends goes in content creation rather than distribution of that content. So it's not like you know we spend a lot of money specifically to distribute the content. We spend effort and time and money in actually creating that content for our uh, for our customers. And this could be in the form of educational pieces that we do. So we work with a system where we kind of want, because we work in FinTech, and we operate in FinTech, there's, amount, there's a certain amount of education that we have to build in, which is in-app content, which is content that is in social media. There is some amount of empowerment that we do where it's timeliness of content. So for example, if there's a budget coming up, how do you look at it? If there's a new tax regime that's in play, how do you look at it? And then we equip them with the tools. We have a personal finance management product in our app. So we kind of you know, equip people to also manage their finances as well. So it's a combination of these things that kind of you know, differentiate us uh, across the board. So it's like it's safe to say that uh, if we are to make a segregation, like in terms of physical versus digital, it's zero to 100. Yeah. I mean, uh, our, our business is digital. We underwent a rebrand last year. We kind of unified our products and services. Uh, so at that time we did obviously, you know, need, we needed to credentialize ourselves. So we did, uh, you know, appear in leading print publications. But barring that, uh, in terms of actually building customer brand awareness and customer know-how, it's extremely digital. We are very, very digital in our operations. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Hariharan. Pleasure. Thank uh, you. Thank you.